Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be looking at another lead code problem named as remove element. The problem statement is as follows. Given an array nums and a value val, remove all instances of that value in place and return the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input in place with order of one extra memory. The order of elements can be changed. It doesn't matter what you do beyond the new length. So two examples are given here. The first example contains an array nums with the following elements and the val is 3. So after we remove the val from this array, we remain with two elements which are 2. Consider another example where the nums is as follows and the val is 2. So after removing 2 from the given array, we are left with 0, 1, 3, 4. Now let's consider the second example where the value of nums array is as follows and val is 2. Let's go through the algorithm to solve this particular problem. Initially, we take an iterator and point it to the beginning of the nums array and then traverse the nums array for i is equal to 0 to nums dot size and if nums of i is equal to val that is if any of the element of nums array is equal to val then we erase that element and decrement it and finally we increment it to point to the next element of the array and after finishing the loop we return the size of nums vector Initially, it points to the first element of nums, which is 0. So, nums of i is 0, whereas val is 2. Since these both are not equal, we proceed further. Now, it points to 1. Even 1 and 2 are not equal, so we again proceed further. Now, the value of nums of i is 2 and val is 2. Since both are equal, we erase 2 from nums array. While doing so, the iterator points to the next element, so we need to decrement it to bring it back to the original element. Now again we have encountered a 2, so val and nums of i both are equal, so we can again erase it from the nums array. Again while doing so, the it value points to a next location, so we need to decrement it. Now it points to 3, since 3 is not equal to 2, we can proceed further. Now it points to 0, again 0 is not equal to 2, so we can proceed further. See, similar case with 4. And finally, when it points to 2, val and nums of i are equal, so we erase 2 from nums array. Finally, we have left with a new array which contains 0, 1, 3, 0, 4, whose size is 5. So we can return nums.size that is 5. So now we can begin with a code which is quite pretty simple. Initially, we need to create an iterator and point it to the beginning of nums vector. Now we need to traverse the nums vector on nums array. And at each traversal we need to check whether nums of i is equal to val. If so, we need to erase the value of nums of i from nums vector. Here we are using the erase function from STL library and passing it the iterator it to delete that particular value from the nums array. And we decrement it and i as well.
and finally after finishing the loop we can return the size of nums So here the reason for decrementing the value of it is that whenever we erase an element from the vector the it iterator points to the next element so we need to bring back to its original element that's why we decrement the value of it so our code is finished and we can run the code to check whether it contains any errors code run finds so we can proceed further and submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you like the video do hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos thank you